hello everybody hope you all are well so in this video we are going to learn how to connect node mcu to arduino id okay so what i have to do is that first of all i uh, will go to file okay and the file are to go to preferences over here okay and then you can see in the board manager we already added an uh, url over here so this url i'll be giving you in the description box you can copy that one and put uh, in this preferences okay once you have pasted this over here you just click ok right thereafter you have to go to tools and the tools you have to go to board manager over here and the board manager you have to type over here node mcu or you can type uh, esp8266 ok so i am typing it over here esp8266 so see the moment I typed, okay, I got this one. So already I have installed it, okay. Otherwise you do one thing over here, you select version, choose the version, and then install it, activate it, install it, okay. Once it's installed, okay, you can close this one. Fine. Now to this Arduino ID, I have added uh, ASP8266 or Node MCU, right? So now I have to choose tools over here. In the tools, I have to go to board again, and then from here I have to choose. ESP8266 boards. So, among all this, I am choosing Node MC1 ESP12E module. This module I am choosing it out. Fine. Now, you can see once again if I move to tools, you can see over here uh, the port part is not activated. Okay. The moment I connect my hardware node mcu hardware to this laptop okay my port will be activated but still if your port is not activated after connecting okay that means it is having uh, a problem that is driver is not available so for that you have to install the driver in my case i am using uh, node mcu where my uh, driver ic is ch9102 for that i will be giving the link in the description box you can download that and you can uh, install the driver okay for some cases it will be, it will be cs340 so accordingly you can search the uh, driver and you can uh, upload that into your uh, system okay cs340 driver link also i'll be providing okay in the description window now in my case already have installed the driver okay so the moment i connect the hardware it will get activated so that part we'll see later on so now what i'm going to do is that i've already written the code for blinking led okay for node mcu so let me explain the code and then i will perform the hardware and i will show you how the port is getting activated so initially i have defined the led that is d0 so here in node mcu i have uh, two built-in led one it has d0 one it has d4 okay that is gpio 02 and gpio 016 okay so i have taken basically d0 over here that is 16 what then in void setup method i had given pin mode led that is output then as usual uh, in loop method i have to get digital write led as high delay 1000 micro milliseconds i had given then uh, digital write led low delay again 1000 milliseconds i had given right so this is the code now what i'm going to do is that uh, just like uh, earlier program of, of arduino the same thing i will do i will just go to uh, the sketch over here okay and i will verify and uh, verify and compile or I can directly I can do one thing, I can just upload it over here from this particular uh, tab. Okay. So, before that I will just connect my node MCU to this laptop and I will show you how the tools this port part is getting activated. Okay. So, let us see that. Well, now what I have done is that I have connected my uh, USB port of node MCU to my laptop okay. and this is the node MCU board over here. Now, you can see the tools over here, uh, if I click the tools over here you can see the port okay is activated now it's com4 now which was earlier not activated because i've connected the hardware it's activated now okay now what i will do is that i will just uh, uh select the tools again and i will check uh, this speed upload speed which i've set to 115200 okay that is a node mcu speed okay and then what exactly i'm going to do is that i'm just going to strike this key so that my uh, code will be uploaded to my node mcu so uh, here i go and you can see it's compiling sketch now okay and the green tab is running over here so we have to wait for a uh, few minutes and then finally uh, the code will be dumped okay so let's wait for a few minutes now you can see uploading is taking place percentage 16 percent 25 percent in this way and there's a blink on uh, uh, the 
load MCU board, small blinks are there. That means that data is getting the code is getting uploaded. Data means that the code is getting uploaded, and it's 91 percent, and now it's 100 percent now. And uh, see, the there's a blink on the load MCU. Okay, so this is how the uh, LED blink program has been dumped into load MCU board. So this is how we are. Uh, uh, establishing connection between node MC board and dumping the program into that one through Arduino IDE. So I hope you understand the concept. Thank you for watching my video.